this is the agenda for this training we'll be going over the what are the different types of a load board subscriptions we'll be talking about dat power we'll be talking about the uh, trucker's edge and actually i have as you can see i have the uh, logins like for both subscriptions i'll be logging in and then we'll be going over like as the title says right so this is the in-depth training this is the training that you're looking for and it's free and it's you know it's just you know giving the value to my subscribers just you know take advantage of this training and learn from it right just stick to to the end and then i have a couple of important announcements for you know for you that will you know help you and change your life so stick till the end and we'll be covering very important things in this uh, load board so specifically for today's training i'll be talking about dat power and for those of you who don't know the uh, dat um, these, this, the uh, company name is DAT Solutions, and this is the greatest, I would say one of the greatest company that I'm, I'm part of it. And, and again, guys, what I use in my business, I share with the world. I'm, I'm not promoting things like, you know, just try this and uh, no, I use this. As you can see, I have this, you know, subscription to both versions you know and then we'll be logging in and then we'll be going over so i highly recommend using dat power so if you use another load boards out there you know most welcome you can use it but we'll be going in depth in this training and i will be showing you the uh, you know some of the tactics that i use to get best paying loads out of this load board right just you know it's it will be amazing training i, I promise you know this would be like I don't know this is not scripted video right so i don't know how long it's gonna take but i will give everything so that you can learn from this video and you will say wow this was the great um or one of the greatest videos or training that i ever watched or taken right so let's rock and roll first i want you to know what is load but real quick in dat has this um, you know, their own, um, the definition of a load board. So here it is. What is a load board? So first I want you to understand that, well, you know, it's, we are in the, as you can see, we are in August, uh, you know, 2nd is 2020. So they posted this on October, you know, 2nd, 2017. Don't think that we're recording this video back in 2017. No, we are in the 2020. What is a load board? A load board is an on-demand freight marketplace. Please pay attention to this. It's really, really important because I'll be repeating this. Freight marketplace used by shippers. You know, it's it's really interesting. You know, some people think that, you know, this load board is just for brokers, right? No, this load board for shippers, brokers, motor carriers, like truckers, right? and for dispatchers as well let's focus on the definition what is a load board a load board is an on-demand freight marketplace period freight marketplace used by shippers meaning shippers use this load board freight brokers motor carriers and other logistics companies listen logistics companies what are those companies? Who are they? Dispatching companies, right? They're logistic companies to find freight and trucks. Just remember this, that the load board, if somebody asks you, what is load board? What are you talking about, right? Freight marketplace. That's all into it. This is a freight marketplace, and we'll be talking about the freight marketplace. Marketplace. Load board is equal to freight marketplace. Let's jump in. This is their website. And again, back to DAT Solutions. So don't confuse. DAT Solutions is a company. And their products is load boards. They're offering load boards. As you can see, so we'll be you know, diving in to this. And then we'll be going over the different types of subscriptions that they offer. Their products, they're offering subscriptions to the people. Like independent truck dispatchers, brokers, shippers, carriers, right? load boards they're offering load boards and one of the load boards 
um, the subscription subscription is DAT power. For example, many you know um, carriers and brokers and independent dispatchers, they know about DAT power. So we will be logging it in to DAT power, and you know we'll be inside of this load board, right? So we'll be going like talking about nuts and bolts and everything. It will be crazy stuff on this video. I I promise. So going back, in another subscription name is DAT Trackers Edge, right? Well, come on, what are those? Let's let's jump in. Let's let's talk about man. Sure, let's go. So load boards click and then we will have the subscriptions they have the first one is a trucker's edge for carrier well i mean for carriers dat power for carriers and brokers dat express for brokers don't confuse this channel is specifically for those of you or for those people who are interested in becoming independent truck dispatchers, right? And then some people interested in becoming in carriers and brokers. But we specifically in this channel talking about, you know, trucking industry. But most of my videos is about, about becoming an independent truck dispatcher. So let's talk about that and then just, you know, keep that in mind that I'll be relating to, you know, becoming an independent truck dispatching, um, independent truck dispatcher. So first one is DAT Trucker's Edge for carriers. And why we have this DAT power uh, for carriers and brokers? Well, some carriers can use it, but, you know, one of the meaning is that some brokers, they're also carriers, right? So they have divisions like carrier division and broker division. So some people may not know this, but this is one of the meanings that if they say carriers and brokers, meaning that there are some brokers and also that broker is also a carrier and there's just, just carriers, but not brokers, right? And this GAT Express for brokers, and I'm, I'm not going to go into it because we're not talking about the brokers, becoming brokers, whatever. So let's focus on the DAT Trucker's Edge for carriers. Now the question comes up, like, come on. Well, well, you said we'll be relating to like independent truck dispatchers, but DAT truckers that you, you just said it is for carriers. But listen, independent truck dispatchers are part of the carriers, right? So your main customers carrier. So you learning what your you know customers all about, what they do, is how you can help them. That's the whole idea, right? So your customers as an independent truck dispatcher your customer is a carrier right so let's stick with that and then i promise by the end of this video everything will be clear just bear with me okay now under the dat trucker's edge so we'll be talking about you know dat power as well right so as i said we will have dat power in depth training and then trucker's edge will just you know do the uh, overview under the dat trucker's edge remember for carriers they have different packages don't confuse truckers edge has three different packages what are those dat truckers edge just basic version think of that way standard right ba basic version next one is a dat truckers Edge enhanced meaning a little bit advanced i would say and then they have truckers edge pro which is professional what are the differences man it's straightforward if you buy 34.97 i mean 95 per month unlimited post search alarm for new search results company reviews meaning like carry reviews and etc available loads by state like georgia i don't know florida you know different states alabama like north carolina whatever 50 states and another one is a little bit inf improved version, meaning you get all of these, but at the same time, they will give you average rates for past 90 days, like straightforward. They're really good at explaining things like, you know, my kids can understand this, right? It's just straightforward. Now you can, you know, check the broker, ch broker credit score. Now, even though I'm explaining like more in detail, some of you will be commenting on this video, say, come on, in Trucker's Edge Basic, you said, do they have a broker's, you know, credit score? No, they don't, right? This is why they, you know, charging more so that they can give you more, 
like a broker credit score. Broker average days to pay plus all standard features. See, you will get these plus you will get these. Straightforward. Moving on to DAT Trackers Edge Pro, or you can say professional, $99.95, $100 basically. You get this, this, right? And then average rates for past 15 days. Try how I'll be explaining in, in when we log in to, um, uh, to the uh, load boards, I'll be talking about the uh, try haul. Better paying routes, lanes, whatever you guys call, like IFTA is just, you know, tax for truckers. You know, they have their calculator offering plus all enhanced features. So they have this. And basically, if they have, if you have enhanced features, but enhanced features, this says plus all standard features, right? So that, that means you get all of this, all of this, and all of this for 99, well, basically for $100 straight forward. You want to sign up, you click, and then you sign up. But when it comes to signing up, just bear with me. You're not signing up right now. And then I will, I will tell you the answer why not, right? So let's talk about the second one, which is DAT Power. Now, DAT Trackers Edge has how many packages? One, two, three, right? So these are the subscriptions. One, two, two, diff two different subscriptions. And each subscription has packages. One, two, three different packages. Now we know Trackers Edge has how many packages? Three packages, right? Let's move on to DAT Power, which is the second more advanced subscription. Don't confuse with package with subscription. Just, you know, just, just to simplify things, right? And please, if you guys have comments, let me know. I'm really good at it with my team. I will just, you know, we will go and then answer your questions. Just let me know in the comment below. What do you think? What are your struggles? Let us know. And then we'll be leaving the, uh, you know, contact information. You can contact us and then we'll give with more training and we do have like free trainings as well and DAT power for carriers let's click on that and then they have how many packages they have two packages DAT power for carriers DAT power for brokers again we are not talking about brokers right which we'll is stick with carriers they have 149 like 150 per month and then what you get, and then I will log in and I will show you what you get, right? So this is the DAT power. 149 per month. This is the, the um, um, DAT power for carriers. And now, DAT power carriers, now we're logging in to go over, like actual training begins, right? So this is how it looks. So when you sign up, as a, or I would say, if you can sign up as a carrier, you will see this. If you, you know, sign up as an ind as independent truck dispatcher, you will see this. And then I will show you how, as an independent truck dispatcher, you will log in. And even though I created videos about how independent truck dispatchers using loadboard, and I mean accessing loadboard, and how carrier, and what are the differences, and why you don't need an MC number, right? And please, guys, before we jump in, please subscribe, like this video. If you like, if you learn something, just share with other people so that, you know, they can leverage, you know, and then get the uh, tr free training, like value from this video, right? So I'll be posting like more videos like this. And then I have, you know, a couple of projects, really amazing projects that are coming up that I'll be sharing with you guys for, for your loyalty, being like a you know, good subscriber or loyal subscriber to my channel. I'll, I'll be doing my best to be around with you guys, right? And thank you for that. This, you know, channel grows only if you, if you guys subscribe. If I see the growth of this channel, and of course, I'm putting everything, right, just to give back. And this is one of those videos that I'm giving back to you guys, right? So I, I'm charging like, you know, thousands of dollars to, you know, people coming into my, you know, office. And then I, I just, you know, teach them how to become a truck dispatchers, right? So it's win-win situation, okay? So there are, will be some questions, and then I'll, I'll be answering those questions because I just, you know, went to my other videos and I picked 
all of the important, you know, questions that I thought these are the important. I have to answer those questions, right? So like logging in, what are the differences accessing versus booking load boards and th th those kind of things. And remember I said, you don't have to sign up. You don't have to pay right now. Why? Because I have the links below the, in, in, you know, this video, you can log in, you know, subscribe or they buy the subscription, but it'll be one month free. So they used to offer 15 days for just Trucker's Edge. Now they improved and then they said, okay, we'll be offering 30 days free for DAT Trucker's Edge. And then we're offering 30 days free just to try, see if you like it. If you don't, just don't pay, right? One month free. It's, it's an amazing. They, they had, you know, so when you go to Trucker's, I mean, DAT Power, want to buy you have to pay it. there's no one month pre it, it wasn't there just they just recently came up with this you know offering like one month like 30 days just to go you know play around and see call brokers like call carriers whatever and then and now it you know question comes up like kamal again how 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 we log in man I, I, i'm i'm a independent truck dispatcher or i just you know wanted to become an independent truck dispatcher i'm, I'm not a carrier how just bear with me. Just let's let's slow down. Everything will be clear by the end of this video. Just bear with me, okay? Let's log in and let, let's log in and talk about this. So, click login. Now, first question: How can I access this load board, man? This DAT power? How? Tell us. Don't forget, so here's, I'll, I'll put the link somewhere around this video. Is just check, it will pop up, I don't know, maybe right corner or below this video. I don't know how, you know, my editing team uh, will do this. But there is a video I'm talking about how accessing this load board is different than actually booking a load, right? You don't need MC number just to, you know, have this one month free. What you need to have is an LLC, like your corporation, some type of corporation that you, when you call them, right, or you just use the link below this video and then you say that, hey, I, I just watched this video, you know, Kamal, you know, I, I, I'm the authorized reseller, just quick disclaimer that I'm authorized reseller for this company, right? So they, they trust on me that I can sell, uh, I can promote, uh, you know, their services. I can create videos about their services, right? So I'm an authorized, um, you know, reseller for this company. And why is that? Because I really love to be part of the, you know, great. And this company is great. And when you call them, you, say, you mention my name if you want. You can say, hey, I watched this Kamal's video. And then he just, you know, provided a link. We just, you know, click on this link. I want to, you know, sign up. But he said, you know, there's like 30 day free. And then they will say, yeah, you know, are you a carrier, broker, or are you a dispatch? So you, you, you just say, you know, I'm, I'm an independent truck dispatcher. Okay. Now you have to prove that you are an independent truck dispatcher, right? How? The corporation, your LLC. The, the reason why I'm saying this, you know, over and over and again, that LLC, which is limited liability company, the term that we use in the United States, it's the very basic form of a corporation. This is why the, most people know this, the LLC, and this is why I use LLC. So they will be asking for article of organization, meaning like your company documents. That's that's what they, you know, asking for. Just to, you know, qualify you as a independent, as an independent truck dispatcher, right? On their system. Because you don't have MC number to access. For carriers, it's easy. They have MC, they have DOT, now, you won't be paying $149. You'll be expensive for independent truck dispatchers. I'm not sure. I think they have like 300 something dollars for independent truck dispatchers. But, you know, it's, it's, it's like, oh, wow, you know, $350 or almost $400 for just, you know, being an independent truck dispatcher. Why am I paying more than, you know, tra you know trucking company? Listen, one load, like if you, if you, if you book one load, 
per month, you just basically cover your expense. It's it's that simple. You don't focus on this, you know, I'm paying 150, I'm paying $300. Carriers pay $150 because they use only one MC to dispatch. But think about it. You are an independent truck dispatcher. What it says, you'll be dispatching unlimited MC numbers. Yeah, I'll show you. Now, you may be a little bit confused, but be, bear with me. Bear with me. Don't say that, well, no, you know, independent truck dispatching business is not for me. It's expensive. Oh, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't have it. No, 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 no. Just, just listen. Trucking companies, like, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a carrier. I have one MC, right? So I'm booking loads under my MC number. I have one. This is why it's $149. And actually, three hundred or four hundred, even five hundred dollars, for subscription for independent truck dispatchers. By the way, you can't see. There's no um, way around. Like you can just go and then okay, which one, which link? No, you have to call them. This is the number. We have to call them and say I'm an independent truck dispatcher, and then they will ask you like, your company documents. That, you know, you prove you will. You you have to prove that you are an independent truck dispatcher. You are not a carrier. Then they will say, okay, they will do on the back end their work and then they will send you the link that it will look like something like this when you log in, right? You will see the same thing, same user interface. Everything is same, right? The functions, the functionality, the, the UI, meaning user interface, everything is same, don't worry. But the accessing is different than carriers, right? And we said, why is expensive than carriers? Because you will be dispatching unlimited MC numbers, but carrier has only one MC number. You are different, right? You are, remember we, we, we talked about this, other logistics companies. You are a logistic company, right? So you are a dispatching company, but you are a logistics company. You involved in logistics. You involved in moving things around. You are a logistic company, right? So let's come back. Let's say... The accessing, now we discussed the accessing. There's a video you will watch. It's, you know, it goes in-depth training how accessing is different than, you know, um, booking loads. So how should I access this load board for independent track dispatchers? It's clear. That's, that's the first question that I get all the time, right? So I have notes on my, in, a, in another screen. So I'm, I'm just, you know, going over these um, questions. How should I access as an independent track dispatchers? We said that number one, you have to have a company. Number two, you have to prove, you have to call DAT power, and then you have to prove that you are an independent track dispatcher. Yeah. And then you access the, these two important steps. That's all. Right. And then you use it for one month free. And then if you like it, you stay. If you don't, you just cancel. That's one way of accessing. Another way of accessing, think about me, I'm a carrier. You contacted me and said, hey, Kamal, you know, I want to, you know, dispatch your trucks, you know, use my abilities. I'm an independent truck dispatcher. And then you say, Kamal, I'll be using your load board, you know, subscription credentials because I don't have a load board. Right. And then I will be providing you my login and user like my login credentials or I will create a sub account that you can use it. Right. I'm not exactly giving you the username and the login information and password and everything, but I'll just, you know. I'll call the, the DAT power and then I will say, hey, I'm adding this independent truck dispatcher. Please create a sub account. And then I'll be providing you my login information. For example, this is an example. You don't have to call me and ask me for that. But I'm just giving you the example. Carriers are your customers. Whatever the carriers, whatever the carrier is, you have to call them and then ask permission to use their load boards. That's the two way of accessing, right? Now, let's say you're an independent truck dispatcher. You just called. You have an LLC. Let's say your company name is, uh, company name is um, you know, Atlanta Dispatching LLC, for example. Just, just, for, just for, you know, simplifying things, right? Atlanta uh, or Georgia Dispatching Services LLC. That's the company name. We, we have an LLC. We proved. We called DAT. We proved that we are a dispatching company. Now, they give us the login information, they send us email. Now we're good, right? So we're good. Now you logged in, you see this, right? You kind of confused. Oh, what am I seeing? 
On the left, you will see post load straightforward, all the simplifying things. You know, some of the, you know, I don't know, current dispatch will say, oh man, this is, I don't know. Well, man, this course is for people who are interested in becoming truck dispatcher. They, they heard about load boards, but they don't see how it looks like. What, what is it? What is posting load means? What is searching, you know, trucks means? What is post trucks means? What searching loads means, man? I'm just explaining to them. If you know how to use this and if you're professional, like more power to you. Just you may learn something from this video, but this video is for those who really wanted to become an independent truck dispatchers and build their businesses, right? And then change their lives. That's what I'm up to. Post loads is basically for brokers. Brokers can post loads. Like again, simplifying things, right? Don't pay attention to this. The main two tabs that you will be using the most is this part, right? Post trucks, search loads. Remember the AT power was for brokers and carriers. And -na -na, there you go. This is for brokers. This is for carriers. But again, you, you have this, you know, question. Kamal, you said that this, you know, for independent truck dispatchers, how come now you're saying this is for carriers? What I said, you are a part of the carrier's team. In a sense, think about like you are like, like semi-carrier, but you don't have trucks because you're leveraging carrier's trucks. That's, that's a simple way to putting it, right? Now, one quick question. I wanted to, you know, ask and go over because it's one of the most common one. It's like, how do you access the load board as a dispatcher? Don't you need DOT or MC number? That's, that's the question. I'm not in the US. Like, can I still access the load board? Let's, let, let's, let's answer this question. Let's reverse engineer this question. Like, can I still access the load boards? I'm not an in the US. Listen, this is a freight marketplace. This does it say US freight marketplace? Does it say specifically for you? This is a freight marketplace. Like think about Amazon. You can access Amazon like you can be anywhere around the world and you can, you know, go to Amazon and order whatever you want, right? It's a marketplace. No different. Load board is a freight marketplace, right? You can be in Canada, you can be in India, you can be in Turkey, you can be in Russia, Ukraine, like whatever the country is, you can still do the same thing. If you're confused, if you disagree, watch my one of my videos. I think the title is um, the good news for um, independent truck dispatchers. I'll include that link below this video so you can watch it. And then there's a Nick. He's a vice president of OTR Capital. And then you just go over and watch that video. And then, you know, I just directly ask him like, hey, some people say that it's, it's like, can I access? Can I be like in Canada and still access? Yes, 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 absolutely. You can be anywhere around the world. You can access this freight marketplace. Okay. And what was the another question? So there's a two part for this question, like how do I access the load board as a dispatcher, right? Don't you need an, a DOT MC number again? This um, yeah, subscribers, you know, she a little bit confused about accessing versus booking. For booking, we'll be talking about in this load board right now, the booking, you need MC. For accessing, you don't need an MC. Some people will say, aha, uh -huh. that's what it is. Man, I've been thinking about this. I was confused about this. Well, I'm glad you found the answer for this, but we are going in depth. We still, we haven't like jumped into the in-depth training. I'm just, you know, answering those questions because it's really important. Most of you like will be like, aha moments, right? So remember we said like post loads and then search truck these are the four brokers this for carrier so you are part of the carrier like you are a semi carrier in a way you'll be using these two tabs which is don't worry about this don't worry about this for now just focus what i'm saying 
I'm, I'm really good at simplifying things. And thank you. Some of you, you you're saying this that, you know, um, um, I'm good at, you know, simplifying things. It's, it's, it's a good, it's a good thing. And thank you for those comments. I'm really valid. Again, while we are on the, uh, well, while, while we're mentioning this, you know, uh, comments, please ask questions. Uh, we are really quick answering those questions. Please, if you do, please ask. Posting trucks, you know, it's very straightforward. You'll be posting who? Whose trucks? You'll be posting your customers' trucks. Giving you the, the scenario. Don't be overwhelmed. Oh, wow, what is it? It's crazy. No, very simple. What I said at the end of this video, everything will be clear. Just be bear with me. Posting trucks it, and searching loads. So we'll be talking about searching loads in a minute. But posting trucks, you'll be posting your customer's truck. Think about this way. Think about I am a carrier, right? So I have a company name. Uh, I have a company named Prime Express LLC. We partnered up, right? So you are one of my independent truck dispatchers. And let's say your name is Mike. And I'm saying, like, we're, we're, we're over, over the phone. So today is, like, let's say, Sunday, tomorrow's Monday. Monday, we'll be booking loads, right? So you say, Kamal, so what are our trucks? I say, well, in Atlanta, Georgia. So there, there are four trucks in Atlanta, Georgia, right? So th these trucks will be going to, let's say, Los Angeles, California. Oh, okay, great. So what are the truck numbers? Okay, truck number, you know, 226, truck number 227, truck number two, whatever, right? They, they, they're truck numbers. And what do you do? You post them, okay? Where they're located? They're located in Atlanta. Destination, where they're going? They're going to Los Angeles, California. Truck type, okay? So if you're... Um, uh, the uh, customer is a carrier, uh, auto, auto carrier, meaning auto transport, they transport in cars, you will just say, okay, auto carrier, is, is it the flatbed, whatever. So you get the idea, right? Refrigerator, container, like kind of stock, whatever, right? Dump trailer, like whatever the truck is. A sprinter, like box truck, um, as you can see, there you go, straight box truck, right? Is, is, is like a stretch trailer, whatever, tanker, here are the um, different types of um, the uh, truck type. You put and you say, okay, so what are you looking for? So is it like partial full? So you put length and then the weight, right? So you are posting a truck. You're giving this information for a broker. So when broker, if the broker has a load or loads coming out of Atlanta, going to Los Angeles, and then they will be searching trucks here you go. Searching trucks, they're not searching loads because brokers, they have loads. So what they are searching, they're searching trucks. Trust me, 99% of those independent dispatchers, they don't post customers, which is carriers, trucks on this. They're not leveraging this and then they're leaving a lot of money on the table. Trust me, 99%. Now, you know, in the morning, on, on the Monday morning, Broker logs in and then he searches for trucks. And guess what? If you posted, you know, your carrier's trucks, it will be pop up, right? On the search in the first or second, whatever. And then the broker will be calling you. Hey, I'm calling. I'm, I'm Jack calling from um, CH Robinson. So we have a load, of, you know, coming out of Atlanta, Georgia, going to Los Angeles, California. So will you take it? And then there was a conversation starts and then the negotiation and then you book a load. That's how it works. That's one way. Clear. Any comments? Comments like this truck has, I don't know, um, you know, um, chains, binders, this truck has whatever the comments you want to mention. I don't have tarps, for example. We don't have chains. We, we have straps, but we don't have whatever the comment is. Comment one, comment two, comments two, right? So you put these information and your available truck, my available truck, the, those trucks will be available um, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, man. Just OK. So you put those. Uh, three dates, available dates, broker will be calling, meaning it will be available on Monday, which is tomorrow, and then it will stay, it will show like your truck's available for three days, meaning brokers will be calling you, like, hey, I need your truck, I need your trucks, right, good stuff, please, please comment and let me know if you have questions, so let's cover one more question, I thought this load board's or uh, this load board is for carriers and brokers, but not for dispatchers. Is that true? One of my subscribers asked, right? This question. Absolutely not. 
going back to this right this marketplace this load boards for shippers freight brokers for motor carriers logistics companies who are they dispatching companies and other logistic companies it's not true this load board is for shippers brokers carriers and independent truck dispatchers so we answer this question while we're on the questions we have another question which is if i set up my you know dispatching um, dispatch service as an llc will i have access to the load board absolutely you will and then second part of the question and if i if, so if, if that is yes what numbers will i have to type in like what what numbers you don't have to type any numbers you're an independent truck dispatcher you have an llc i just you know at the beginning of this training i said that you have to call dat and just prove that you have an llc you have a company that you are a dispatcher now guys clear right about this section just straightforward posting your truck is straightforward don't focus on these you don't need for these for now don't don't pay attention to that right so you are an independent truck dispatcher let's simplify things posting trucks are straight forward right and then uh, you put your contact information okay now this is where the magic happens this is really really important stuff so let's delete this so that i don't confuse you okay and let's delete this one again i'll be very very specific but at the same time i will be simplifying things because for some of you it will be like crazy or what is it like oh man okay i'll be simplifying simplifying things okay so 99 percent of the time when you log in to dat power you'll be using this yes you'll be using this well i encourage you to use this because otherwise you'll be losing a lot of money in this business searching loads you'll be losing a, i mean you'll be using a lot right when you click on search loads you will see these what we what, what we can call these uh, search modifiers or whatever but just you know just searches right just you know we'll be putting inputs man they're there should be some i don't know you know um the terminologies for these stuff, but i'm trying to make it simple so that you can understand it's straightforward it says just you know dat power has you know loads hundreds of thousands of loads on their system and it's just basically asking for a couple of information that they can pull the or they, they can match your searches with those loads because they're like hundreds of thousands of loads on their system they're asking like hey be specific what do you need it's like same in amazon right when you just there are hundreds of like millions of products mill billions of products but what do you what do you do you you know modifying your searches like hey i need like mac or i need pc i need keyboard i need and then their searches um the search search results pop up right so same analogy here truck well dt power asks what type of truck right truck basically means what type of trucks and meaning what is the truck and trailer meaning what type of trailer you have basically right so when you click this click this drop down menu you will see if you don't know don't pay attention to if you don't know what kind of stock means like containers mean you know specialized not specialized dry bulk flat no 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 just just you know let's simplify things okay these are the trailer types if you don't know just type in a google and then it will just you know image pop up on oh and then you will say oh uh, oh yeah this is this is what it is and this is another question pops up you know many you know my subscribers they ask me like kamal i don't know what what is like flatbed means what, what these things i don't know i'm confused we have these free trainings we have a paid trainings please don't be confused some you know students like complaining like hey you said free but it's free. you know it's paid man just look at the link it says paid training and then free training why there's a paid training exists because some people want to know in depth with help with mentorship with one-on-one coachings 
You know, some people different. Some people just searching for information. Some people want to build a business out of this. It's important. This is why I created, you know, free course and then paid courses. Just, you know, take it whatever, you know, best, you know, fits for you. That's, that's all into it. Okay. So for now, assuming that, you know, like th these are the trailer types. Because I'm in the flatbed market, right? So I'll just, you know, click F. And then flatbed market. And then we have this little bit of a specialized type of a trailer that we have. It's, it's still, you know, under the uh, category of a flatbed trailer, which is a step deck trailer, right? So when you drop the, um, the on the drop, drop down menu, well, it's a DAX standard, right? Or DAX specialized. What I do, I just... I just, you know, take both of them, like K and D, right? Meaning I have a flatbed, but a little bit specialized, but you, you can just put flatbed. It's basically flatbed and a step deck. Well, let me go, let me go real quick and then sh show you. Like, um, um, flatbed, uh, flatbed, and I would say step deck trailers. Yeah, there you go. So I will show you the difference. Uh, let's go images and then I will show you real, really, really, really quickly. What is it? Okay. So this is the step deck. As you can see, it's like a step, right? So this is a step deck. Like it's, it's type of like a gooseneck, <laughs> um, in a way. So this is a, f what is, it? I can't say, I think, uh, I think it's a flatbed, but let me, let me show you the flatbed. So this is a step deck. So this is what I have. This is the step deck. Okay. Now, there we go. This is a good image. There we go. So this one, as you can see, it's a flat, right? This is a flat bed. But this one is a step deck. There's a, like, if you can see, there's this. Let me, sh let me show you this. See, this is a flat bed. This is a step deck. See, it's, it's a little bit lower profile, right? See this? Lower profile. This one is a lower profile. This one is a uh, flat bed. Uh, this one's a flat bed. This one is a step deck trailer, okay? This we what we were talking about. Just a quick, you know, overview. Now you said that you're just commanding to like in uh, the, the DAT power saying that, okay, I have flatbed, I have, you know, a little bit specialized or whatever, just to simplify things, let's focus on, you know, flatbed. Uh, I don't want to confuse you. Okay. Now origin, what we said, we have this company name that we called Georgia dispatching service LLC, right? And then Georgia dispatching services LLC contracted with prime express LLC, prime express who carrier. Right. So the carrier has, you know, trucks in Atlanta, Georgia. How many? Four. So now we said, you know, Atlanta, Georgia going where? But remember, Prime Express said to like my trucks in Atlanta, Georgia going to Los Angeles, California. Right. When? Let's say our trucks will be available Monday. Um, oh, let's do this. Oop. Oh, shift. OK, there you go. Whoop. Let's say available Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. Now, going back, as you can see, we have origin, right? Trucks origin, basically. Not your dispatching. It's not asking you where you located. No, it's where trucks are located, right? Destination. Where's your trucks going? Destination. Destination. Los Angeles, California. Avail meaning availability when. Tomorrow, after tomorrow, and until Wednesday. Okay. D H O. Dead head origin. Dead head origin. What? What are you talking about? Dead head origin basically means if we have a load in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's say our checks in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's say Atlanta and to make it. Oop, just making Georgia, right? So let's let's go to the map. Uh, I'll just you know show you. Uh, I'll, I'll give you more training. I would say. So this is Atlanta, Georgia, and then this is the uh, the Macon, Georgia, right? It's another city, beautiful city, by the way. So it's about how many miles? It's about like about about ninety miles. Let's round up. It's about hour and a half drive, for example, or hour and fifty minutes. But let's say hour and a half, like ninety miles away from Atlanta, Georgia. Deadhead means, like, how many miles we put? Like, 350. Like, we say 350 mile 
what radius 350 mile radius right so basically means that you're saying okay my trucks in atlanta georgia but dat power my trucks can go empty up to 350 mile radius right radius means right we can go south east south east west north whatever 150 miles 150 mile radius it includes some of the states like tennessee alabama florida it catches florida south carolina north carolina 350 miles because from atlanta georgia to uh, charlotte north carolina it's about 250 miles just you know do it let's let's do it right now let's do it uh, oh, there you go uh you know the battery on my um the uh, mouse i think dead let's do so charlotte right let's whoops excuse me let's do this there we go um yeah there you go Charlotte, north carolina see it's about 150 something let's see uh yeah boom 145 right see if you put like 350 mile radius ra radius yeah 350 that means your trucks you're telling um the um dat power that my trucks can go empty there's no loads meaning show me loads around 350 miles so i can go and pick it up deadhead meaning empty miles i'll go there no problem if we have a good paying loads that coming out of charlotte and going to los angeles yes i'll do it i'll go you know empty no loads pick it up go to los angeles california that's what it is deadhead right deadhead means empty miles basically put in that perspective empty miles so we have deadhead origin there must be deadhead d what destination you're right deadhead destination deadhead destination again let me show you we said what uh, we said uh, los angeles california right so now let's go here and this is los angeles california now what we are saying is that you can give me loads let me go here show me the loads i mean atlanta george show me the loads 350 mile radius so that you know there will be more loads there will be like more loads right it's obviously if you put like 150 mile radius you will just catch a little bit but what if we have in south carolina like paying i don't know ten thousand dollars you will be missing you'll, that's that's the um you will be missing that is the opportunity that you lost right no you put most carriers put like 250 miles but i I put 350 mile radius okay so that what it is and again you're not limiting you're not only going to Los Angeles California you're saying that it will be 250 mile radius drop I can drop this load I can pick up I can go empty pick it up up to 350 miles whatever where I it could be Knoxville whatever I'll pick it up and then i will go and deliver 250 mile radius around los angeles that's what it is why the one reason is to get more loads to choose from that's the whole idea now we cover this now f slash p what is it full load partial load full load straightforward right it's a full load like full partial it meaning like half right we'll be going more in depth don't worry about full load partial load right what do you put you don't put just partial or full you put both why we need more search results search results okay the length of the trailer i have 53 feet that th this is the length of my trailers right your customers you know trailers length will be different Right? Just make sure that you know this. So we cover this on the uh, uh, pay training that we have. The weight, okay? So your you know, customer will say, well, I'm, 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 I'm the, your customer, let's say. Let's pretend for example's sake. So, you know, uh, Prime Express says we are, in, be honest with you, I never, you know, book a load more than, I think, 40,000 pounds. We can go up to 40, um, uh, 45,000, right? no more i can't pick it up 50 uh, 46 000. i can't pick it up 47 000. i can't pick it up 48 000. it's just limit hey dat please don't show me more than 45 
um, the uh, pounds, loads are not interested. Why? Because my carriers not interested. Right? Now the question maybe you will be asking, come on, what if? So you told us that you know when we will have this, you know, dispatch independent truck dispatching load board. So you told us that uh, we'll be dispatching many you know carriers as much as we want. Yes, you're right. There will be searches that you can duplicate, right, for for other carriers as well. And be honest with you, when you're starting out, you can do like uh, unlimited searches. But when, when you're starting out, you'll be using one carrier. One carrier for you is enough. It's 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 a good money. Like four carriers. What, what we were talking about four carriers, right? So each, I mean, four trucks. Like one carrier has, let's say, four carrier. I mean, four trucks. That one truck can generate up to thirty-five thousand. Per month, so some of you confused. You know, people asking me, Kamal, $35,000 per month? What are you talking about? <laughs> Man, listen, one of the, uh, I see the uh, comment on one of my videos. He's saying, is it per month or is it per year? I was like, well, it's per month. This, this is the average. Let's, let's say 30,000 average. And you know, oh no way, it's, it's no way, man. Like, I don't, <laughs> you're dreaming. Are you dreaming? No, it's, what are you talking about, man? I've been doing this for many years. Ask for a carrier. What he doesn't know, one thing, is that he confuses between the market, like flatbed market. Another market will be reefer market. Another market is oversized market, like oversized, overweight, over width, right? Heavy duty, like different markets, different, like car hauling. For example, they're averaging about $40,000 per month. That is gross. Gross. It's not a net, right? It's a gross income that one truck can generate. Go do your searches. Go do your you know, research and you, you, you can see that you know, average, average in, like in flat pit market, people, you know, one truck can generate up to $30,000. It's a gross. It's not, again, there's a lot of you know expenses, driver expense, fuel expense, insurance expense, truck payments, trailer payments, a, a lot like office administrative. It's it's too much expense. You're not making a lot of money from one truck. Yes, I agree. But one truck, in average, gross, can generate up to thirty thousand. And the good news is that you know it's you know it depends how you you know get the uh, negotiation or agreement with your um, uh, carriers, but you get from the gross, right? You, you get paid by week, weekly or bi-weekly or monthly, whatever the agreement is, right? So that is from the gross. If there's like four trucks, how many? 120,000, right? 120K per month, four trucks can generate. And you making whatever the percentage or I don't know how you charge, but if you're looking at... I don't know, somewhere like 5, 10 K per month business for most of these life changing. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of trucking. OK, so not many people can say this, but I'm saying straightforward. And if you want to change your life, go into, you know, uh, independent truck dispatching business, go do whatever the uh, you know, research you want to do. And then there's students come, you know, like prospective students comes up to me and say, no, it's not illegal. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It, it's, th th this is no different than other businesses, right? This is a service type business. Go do your research. Some brokers, like no offense to brokers. I love, you know, my own brokers. They're really professional. I admire them. But some, you know, they're narrow minded, I would say, brokers that, oh, no, it's it's illegal. Don't go there. Why? They don't need competition. Straightforward. Right. So one more question from um, one of my um, uh, subscribers. So this is the comment was. So I'm trying to log in into Uber app and it asks me, I think the app asks for MC number. I do not have in I will be dispatching several um, different carriers with different MC number. How would I do this? Very good, you know, question. I think uh, this um, subscriber. Um, I think she, I, I know her. I think she's uh, okay. Let, let, let's do. Let's answer the question. I think she's a little bit confused. You know, Uber app. Yes, they have their own load boards, but it's it's different than we're talking about this load board access and this load board. You know, yes, because Uber app is for carriers, 
I don't know if they have for dispatchers, but it's it's for you know carriers, and you, you don't need MC number. We talked about this million times right now, right? So the accessing and booking is totally different thing, and I, I think I already answered this question like um, unlimited number of carriers. You can dispatch unlimited carriers, right? So when we log in to search for you know the um, loads, I'll be talking about like how that works, how this booking process is different, like how this you know booking for different carriers works. I I'll be showing you. Just bear with me. Even though it's just like you know it already like almost a like sixty minute training, but there's like more juicy stuff you know come in. Just be bear with me. So and. So we talked about the wait and then search back. What is search back? It's straightforward. It says, you know, go back two hours. Let me see what was the, what were the posts back in two hours, right? Because there will be still um, loads available for you to go back like two hours before, right? And, and see what, 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 what were the, those posts. That's what it is. So now we simplified Atlanta, Los Angeles. This is, again, pay attention, this is search loads, it's not post trucks, right? This is search loads. Now, these are the, the modifying searches, I would say. We, we are modifying the search results, right? So let's do search. This is what pops up, right? Well, there's a, there's a good load. Um, Browns, okay, this, okay. So <laughs> it really, you know, takes my attention. So let's look around so what we did we just clicked search and this is the um it's no different than see it's seven exact matches 11 similar matches to exact matches so these are similar to these right so i will talk about this don't worry so now i'll be going over the, the, you know this uh, the i don't know tabs i would say um, we'll be going over these, right? So we have a total of 18 search results. We'll be going over this. So I'll be talking about this. Now, and you will see this zero. That means any time this is a live feed. What is live feed? So this is one of the main differences from other um, uh, subscriptions that DAT has and then um, uh, from uh, uh, other load boards out there. This is a live feed. Live feed meaning once... A broker posts a load it'll be available right away for you right and then by the way some you know you know subscribers ask me about this that what is this icon this icon I, I use a um, it's, it's a click to call I don't have to dial right so when I click right now it'll, it'll be just dialing automatically it's like within a seconds why is that why it's so important why why I just bought this well I've been using for years but I'm just saying that why I'm using this? Why it's so important? Because it's very, it's brutally competitive when it comes to calling and booking loads. And again, another question like the people asking me, is it a cold calling I have to do? Well, it's not a cold calling. So the, the broker is already expecting you to call, right? So it's ready to give you the load. It's just a matter of fact, how you will negotiate that, that will be the differentiate, like we're winning or losing. That, that's the thing. It's not a cold calling. It's just, you know, you, you just call, a book a load right so it basically says that it, it was about like seven minutes ago this this load posted right a and when i click or well, just let's test for example right so on you on you are on your uh, iphone let's say or you know whatever uh, android or whatever the phone is and i have this office phone you dial and i say six seven eight two oh three like three three four eight see we're already like three four seconds passed boom click calling right that's the difference so you lost i just clicked and brokerage was boom picked up yes and we start the conversation now let's that's what it is okay so, okay so a quick question let's you know uh, answer one of uh, the i think this one is the last question so as a truck dispatcher which load board subscription should i purchase the broker version or carrier version man you are not a broker so if you're a carrier yes go ahead and do that right so you need a carrier version but you said it as a truck dispatcher which load board, which load board subscription should i purchase the broker version or carrier version you just said it you purchase truck dispatcher version that's that's it 
So if you're a carrier, yes, you're most welcome. Just go and purchase the carrier version. But you're a dispatcher, and we talked about already, if you just jump on this video, I don't know, uh, but you missed a lot of, just go back and then, you know, watch the video. I, I answered that question. So you need a, um, that's for sure, you need a dispatcher uh, version of a subscription. So go back. Now we have these results. Now, so remember we did these, um, you know, what type, flatbed, okay, so um, Atlanta, Georgia, Los Angeles, okay, availability, deadhead, we talked about, I mean, uh, deadhead origin, deadhead um, destination, uh, we talked about, is it full, is it partial, was it both length, these are the uh, weight, uh, as you can see, right, so the max it pops up is 45, if I remove this and I put 48, it will be 48,000, and trust me, some of your flatbeds, uh, flatbed um, carriers, they will say, you know, I can I can take 48,000. Yeah, no problem. Then you can put 48, right? So let's talk about this. Broker to carrier spot. It's a great term, spot. What is it? It's a spot market rate, right? This is a spot market rate. It's on the spot. It, what is it? What, what tells you? In my, you know, carrier, I mean, in my training, uh, the pay training, so we go over like, what are the differences between spot market? Like, what are the differences between spot market and, um, you know, contracted, you know, market? Those kind of things. But spot market, it's like on the spot. It can change within hours, within days, within months. It can be, it can change any time. That's a spot market. That's that's the whole idea. It's a spot on the spot. Okay. So it says that um, the when you click on this. Right, so this one is actually the shippers to carrier contract. It's you have to pay for this, but you know, so if you need like more in depth, if you want to know like how much shippers pay to carriers, yeah, you upgrade and then you can see. Again, how you call DAT power. Okay, so now it says that this report you can compare right by. Uh, getting like more permission like and again it's all about like calling them right so you call them and they will give you more information but i think it's you have to upgrade right so come back to searches it basically s it says that this is the average for the this lane based on your you know search results 147 right so it's basically it be this average so the lowest it was 1.64 what per mile brokers paid right and then uh, in a minute i will talk about this why this number is so important and then 2.15 meaning some brokers paid 2.15 okay let's do the calculation because it's important let's remove the charlotte how many miles we have we have 2184 let's say for pickup we'll give another maybe 100 miles and then for drop off we can give you know for just you know example sake and then another 100 so 200 let's just you know wrap up this like let's say 2500 total miles right so if you did a good if you have this negotiation tactic and you negotiated with broker right and he paid you like 215 2500 miles from atlanta georgia Remember, we said, you know, just 100 miles from, you know, pick up, extra miles, and then drop up, drop off, extra miles, right? So total, 2,500. 2,500 multiply by 2.15. That means 5,375. There you go, right? See? 260, uh, 2,636 2, miles, and he, he pays 540. I mean, $5,400. It's right in this range, right? So he pays about like $2 per mile, see? But you can negotiate. So I have this, you know, in my training, that I teach people how to negotiate, right? And this is all about, and why this is important? Because you will know this number will help you negotiate with brokers. Well, obviously, you can ask for 2.5 if you're a good negotiator. But definitely, you can't ask for three dollars per mile. That's 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 for sure, right? Why? Because it's average. You the average number is low, right? So you can't ask like three. <laughs> they will say like, "Are you crazy? What are you asking?" See, 
these are the numbers and these are really important people take this training people charging hundreds of thousands of dollars for this training this is it's the value for my loyal subscribers thank you thank you thank you guys and the lane makers will do another um because it's it's more than an hour training lane makers will do this is basically building a lane for your carriers it's, it's powerful stuff market conditions you know i teach this in my training but you know i can do you know free training the try hall is really important but you know and again for for another training i will do the uh, try hall because it's really really important a lot of money independent truck dispatchers missing money not using try hall okay so let's you know uh, come down here edge straightforward 14 minutes right 14 minutes ago they posted this load available tomorrow it's a flatbed see truck flatbed what is it full or partial straightforward is a full load right and then oops let's do this deadhead yeah so you'll be deadheading 370 miles remember deadhead from atlanta georgia brunswick is it's somewhere in savannah georgia so uh, i'll show you so it should be let's go to savannah georgia uh, brunswick oh, brunswick should be somewhere to show you okay we'll come back there you go so let's zoom in there you go brunswick what is it it's a port right in the flatbed you know you can haul like heavy duty equipment and then you can haul containers that's that's the beauty of a flatbed market right so brunswick is it's basically uh, it's it's a port, so we have two main ports in Georgia. We have a Savannah and then Brunswick, which basically it's about like 50, 60 miles, uh, you know, the uh, distance. Okay, so let's come back. Let's do okay. So Brunswick, meaning your truck. Let's close this. Your truck from Atlanta, Georgia, to Brunswick. It will say you will be going empty from Atlanta, right? Brunswick. There you go. It will be 307 miles. Let's close this so we don't confuse. 370 miles. What is it? Deadhead. So you'll be going empty to pick up this load. That's what it means. From Atlanta, Georgia, picking up here. You'll be going like empty, driving empty. No, no, no loads. Nobody paying you. Free. You will go in here to pick up. Right? That's what it is. Okay? So, and then you're going to... When you see... AFB is military load. That's what it is. Okay. So, and again, it says you put Los Angeles, California, deadhead. Remember we said it will be one, uh, one, uh, 160 mile away, 160 miles away from Los Angeles. Right. And bear with me, guys. So I've been talking about for for <laughs> little over um, uh, an hour. So it's kind of um, thirsty and <laughs> kind of tired a little bit. And again, what is the company name? company name is brokerage right so it's a broker company a brokerage company this is the name of the company so you'll be contacting who this this guy this guy responsible for this but i will show you that there should be comments uh, we'll go there so what is it so he needs 53 feet uh the trailer what is the weight weight is twenty thousand. cs credit score right so anytime you see less than 90 i don't i don't work with those guys so for example see this guy I, I don't work with this guy so he's not paying i don't know um his uh bills on time so 97 even better right so 90 and up 91 92 97 it's good right it's a credit score it's they, like they pay you know their carriers on time so if your carriers get paid on time that means you will get paid on time right so dtp means day to pay right so dtp means day to pay factor again in, there's another video uh, i'm talking about the differences between the, like who's like the um, i think the can't remember the uh, title of the video but i'll put on the description below so you can click it and watch it like uh, who's factoring company right so who's broker like who's a shipper like i i, I go really in detail so the, the, a lot of good stuff in this channel just please just search for those videos and uh, obviously rate is you know how much they pay right so this book is uh, you know don't pay attention you, you don't need this right 
when you click the one click thing when you click on this one it will bring the top paying loads see when you click ascending descending kind of thing right when you click on the rate see now you know which one you should contact right so and again we'll go in depth in the training like talking about okay should you you know book this load why this partial then you can combine with full load this is good stuff but you know we already been you know talking for about i don't know 70 minutes i don't know 65 minutes right this is how it goes but when you click on this and then trip is obviously straightforward it's like what about so it's from atlanta georgia to brunswick and then from brunswick going to like all the miles right included including this destination it's total um i would say 2650 let's round up right this is the mile and then you can calculate this divided by this oh i let's let, 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 let me show you right now so let's do this so how much they paying they paying um 5400 um and we're dividing by how many miles let's round up this for 2650 let's say 2650 mile miles and it's 2.0 miles it's good actually right so they're paying like two miles per mile right and now maybe you uh, you're asking like Kamal, how should I know? Like, is this two point zero is good for you know flatbed? Is well, I would say in a flatbed market, if you know if you get like more than two point three, but it will be different from carriers to carriers. But it's it's a good pay two point three. Why is that? Because some carriers they have you know a lot of uh, expenses. Some you know don't. And, you know you have to talk to your carriers and then. Uh, get that cost to cost per mile um the uh number that's really important your carrier will help you with that so i i, I help my dispatchers with those numbers okay so remember i said the uh, comments and then you see carrier must have a photo id why because you're going it's a military load so and pass background check <laughs> check out <laughs> check out the receiver right so you have to do a background this is straightforward you have to have a ID because these guys in the military, they will be running background check, right? So you're a good guy. They will let you in and then you go in and then pick up. This is the uh, carrier MC, um, I mean, the broker's MC number, right? That's it. Guys, this is like straightforward. It's not hard. <laughs> if I can create like, if I do another video, go in maybe more in detail, showing like, okay, how you build lanes, like for conditions, search for conditions, like what, how to use, you know, trials and et cetera. You will be making a lot of money out of this, but you know, to start with, it's, 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 it's basic, right? So it's, it's really easy. You just, if you can go over one more time, just rewatch this video, it will help you a lot. Right? And then, then this window pops up, you'll do like, okay, so you're not going here, clicking, going. It's really convenient way of, you know, uh, modifying your searches. That's, that's all, all into it. And then like, you know, ask me, ask me questions, please leave me comments. Let's say like how you can use or leverage this, you know, load board for your sprinter vans or, you know, straight trucks, box trucks, whatever. Yes, it's possible. You can find loads out of this. You can do very crazy stuff. Um, you know, finding your shippers, carriers, brokers here. Everything is here. You're leveraging these tools, right? So I, I have this, you know, um, confidence that, you know, most people out of this, just, just watching this can build their businesses. It's straightforward, right? Join our, um, the uh, group facebook group type dispatch trucks and then they'll pop up with the same logo and pop up and then just join and see their people building their businesses like it's crazy it's amazing to see that like we're changing people's lives it's really 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 important please subscribe to this channel because you know as i said i'll, I'll i'm working on really good projects it, it will change everything it will change your life i promise you subscribe to this channel please like this video please share with other people so you see you get a lot of value out of this let other people you know get the same value but let's share you know sharing is ca uh, caring right so there will be two links below this video one is for um you know i said that 
I'll, I'll just do the quick review uh, now because I promised to do this. And then some of you may be asking, like, come on, you said that you will be going over. But yeah, so I, I'll do this. But I will include DAT Power Link one month free if you want to try. And then I will include the DAT um, Tracker's Edge, um, the link, Tracker's Edge link so you can try for one month when you call them just mention my name it's yes this is the affiliate link you're not losing anything they're just you know giving me some commission basically you know promoting this if, if you, you can call them directly not mention my name it's totally okay but they will help you a lot because they know that i'm teaching independent truck dispatchers right they they value my students and subscribers as well right and the um if you wanted to learn more about like becoming an independent track dispatcher, so there will be two links. Please don't say that you don't like if you click on paid and then it's oh, you, you said for free, but it's paid. No, 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 there will be two links that you know will be paid if you want to decide to learn more in depth. There will be paid link below this video, and then there will be a free training you can join and then you can learn um, about this. Um, great industry I really love as you can see I can talk hours and hours I love this industry you know my students you know uh, changing their lives and I want you to change your life too you know if you allow me to do it well thank you for watching and please again join subscribe like help me to grow this channel and then it will be win-win situation you know if I see you know this channel growing I'll be doing more videos like this so that you know um, you can become a uh, independent truck dispatcher thank you so much guys and then I will see you on the next video bye for now